Hey men, good morning, it's brother Darren. Just up in the city of London, actually on my last day up here for work. And we got brother Rupert, who's preaching over there. But let's have a little look at what he's doing in his ministry. God bless you, sir. God bless. Thank you. I've seen you moving together. There's so much confusion about what the gospel actually is. So much confusion. Even, even, even in evangelical circles, quite often, as preachers, we will mangle the gospel. I had an example about this the other day. I heard a man, I know he could see the person's brother, but I heard him say this, or TBN I think he was, he said this, the gospel is good news, when he's right about that, the gospel is good news. Then he said this, the gospel is good news, uh, Jesus said that we are to love our Lord, the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul and strength, and to love our neighbour as ourselves. That is the gospel. No, my friend, that's not the gospel. Yes, it would be good news if we all did it. If we did all love Jesus Christ and love God and love our neighbour as ourselves, if we did that supreme, then yes, that would be good news. But we don't do it. You know, the, the gospel is not, not about what we do. It's about what Jesus Christ has done. He lived the perfect life that you, could, you and I could not live. He loved God perfectly. Amen. And he loved his neighbour as himself. He did all that. Look, it says in the Bible that Jesus Christ fulfilled all righteousness. He lived the perfect life that we could not live. So when you tell people, when you tell people, oh, the gospel is this, you must love God and love your neighbour as yourself. My friend, that's not the gospel. And telling people to do that, it just be, it just people think, well, that's impossible, so they don't respond. No, my friend, Jesus Christ lived the gospel and he died the gospel. What is the gospel? Paul spelled it out for us in 1 Corinthians 15 when Paul says this that Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. That he was buried, that's the proof that he died that he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. That, my friend, is the gospel. That's the gospel according to the apostle Paul. That's the gospel according to the Bible. That's the gospel according to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has done everything for us so that anyone, no matter how wicked and evil and just horrible you've been, you can be forgiven forever of all of your sin in the moment and receive Christ and receive his spirit and receive a new heart and a new life and a new life and a new nature and a new everything. The Bible says this, if any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature, a new creation, old things are passed away, behold, all things have become new. God says to Ezekiel, 